Health Day 2019. That's World Mental Health Day 2019. And um, let me give you a brief uh, preamble on the subject matter. Mental health is important at every stage in life, from childhood and adolescence through to adulthood. Mental health includes our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. It affects how we think, feel, and act. It also helps determine how we handle stress, relate to others, and make choices. Research shows that every one adult in four, along with one child in ten, will have a mental health issue. These conditions can profoundly affect literally millions of lives, affecting the capabilities of these individuals to make it through the day, to sustain relationships, and to maintain work. World Mental Health Day is observed on the 10th of October every year with the overall objective of raising awareness of mental health issues around the world and mobilizing efforts in support of mental health. This year, the World Federation for Mental Health, as the WFMH, has decided to make suicide prevention the main theme of the World Mental Health Day. According to the WHO, as the World Health Organization, more than 800,000 people die by suicide a year, making it the principal cause of death among people 15 to 29 years old. In the studio to discuss this uh, all-important subject with me is none other than uh, Dr. Kingsley O'Connor, Medical Director, Net Wealth Center for Addiction Management and Psychological Medicine, State Local, uh, State Local Just. Dr. Kingsley, good morning and welcome on the program. Thank you very much, Stephen, and um, good morning, listeners at home. All right, uh, listener, the phone lines will be made available during the course of the program for you to contribute or to ask the good doctor a question or two. So, uh, Dr. Kingsley, let's get straight into it. Uh, what can you tell us or, or what can you tell us about mental health? All right. Um, as far back as 1948, WHO gave a definition of mental health. So it's a state of well-being in which the individual is able to realize his or her own potential, cope with normal stresses of life, work productively, and is able to make meaningful contribution to society. So when you look at it in that sphere, you see that we are not even talking about illnesses. We are talking about a state of being, so which encompasses everything. Number one, you are able to actualize your potential. So it means that you have a sense of self-worth and you know that, okay, I have something that is deposited in me that I should be able to be the man that God wants me to be or, 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 or whatever you think about it. And so, and then normal stresses of life, you know, these stresses could be from inside, could be from outside, could be stress of traffic, like in Lagos and all this, or stress of relationship, work and all those things. Uh -huh. And then to be able to work productively and then make contribution to society. When you now look at it in that way, you see that, see, there are many people who are not mentally healthy. Mental health is talking about your ability to live life to the fullest. It is when you now have a deviation from these things and then in a way in which doctors were able to say, okay, these symptoms, these symptoms add together to give this illness that you now say you have mental illness. However, there is a great gap between well-being and illness. Many people are not well, but we cannot diagnose them of illness based on the criteria we have. But in between, many people are existing in that um, gap where they are not well. And so that's why you see people come to work. You say, good morning, sir. What is good about the money? They pick quarrel with everybody. But you cannot say that this person has a mental illness. You cannot say, oh, you should go and, and get to um, my center, for example, or department of psychiatry and for them to diagnose him and to be on the bed. But he's speaking quiet with everybody. He can't hold a job. He can't live in a house without, you know, without um, fighting with the landlord, fighting with everybody. That's, that's the issue of mental health. It goes beyond illnesses into living life to the fullest. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you, Dr. Kingsley. Um, uh, is there a difference between mental health and mental illness? Yes. Okay. You know that I've got, already gotten into it. Yes. I didn't even know that was your next question. Yes. But naturally, we always get into it like that because when we now talk about illness, illnesses are a combination of symptoms that will make you to say this is an illness. 
these are things that doctors diagnose to say, oh, this is the illness. So, for example, we have illnesses like depression. That's the commonest um, psychiatric illness that people know now. In fact, some people don't even believe it's a psychiatric illness anymore. They think that psychiatric illnesses are the one in which the person is talking to himself, hearing voices, behaving like, in quote, mad people. Though I always say that's derogatory. So, the illnesses are diagnosis. When you see, like, malaria, typhoid, hypertension, these are diagnosis. So, when people have these illnesses, the hallmark of the illness is that, one, they deviate from the normal. Are you getting me now? So, when there's a disorder, we call it disorder, because they come from the brain. When there's a disorder in their thinking, in their mood, and then in their behavior, that's when we say there are illnesses. So, this disorder will now lead to the abnormal behavior that you see. Ha! Huh. Um, for my definition, you always see it. You already see it. When somebody is able to actualize his own potential, when somebody is able to cope with normal, they're so full of energy. I say I don't have that energy. It's just the purpose to know that, see, this mental health issue that we are talking about is it don't, it's not limited to the hospital. It cuts across every sphere of life. And because it cuts across every sphere of life, I want people to see it so that they can live healthy. So when somebody is able to make those contributions, for example, Stephen, look, um, you have been working in this organization now, and any time you have people interacting together, there must be misunderstanding, there must be people must like each other or sometimes step on each other's toe. So somebody steps on your toe, and because of that, you are not able to have relationship with that person anymore. He has become an enemy. You are not mentally healthy. Because being mentally healthy says that you should be able to have issues and do your issues, trash issues out. Are you getting me now? You should be able to take criticism graciously. You should be able to take praises benevolently. That's what it means to be mentally healthy. So if you now get to our places of worship, where everybody, they are always talking about enemy and enemy, you start to wonder, are we really mentally healthy? It's a mindset that always look at the negative. That doesn't mean that we're, I mean, that doesn't show that we're really mentally healthy. Because I come here now, I look at everybody, okay, maybe because um, your producer there, or on the console there, because he's having beer, they say, ah, man, I cannot live with this one. I'm not mentally healthy. But when I am able to look at it and say, okay, I, I relate with people with a open mind, of course, not that I've become vulnerable. So you see that the issue of mental health goes beyond just being ill. You must be able to actualize your potential. Cope with normal stresses of life. Work productively. And then you must make contribution. Don't be an emit on your own. I cannot relate with others. You must make contribution to society where you are. Okay. Yes. All right, thank you. Okay, it's my next question. Uh, the World Health uh, Mental Health Day mm. will be celebrated tomorrow, 10th October. Mm. How will it help in raising awareness as regards to mental health? All right, thank you very much. You see, that day was set up because... Um, definitely mental health is a, is a thing that happens every day, but we want to create awareness so that once you raise, you know, like media campaign, work and all those kind of things, you're going to make people know more about the issue of mental health. Now, we have been choosing teams every year. This year's theme is um, prevention of um, suicide, mental health promotion and prevention of suicide. So one of the things we do is one of the reasons why I'm here, I'm here now you know, we are talking about this one because of that day. And then even in my organization, Network um, Consult and Network Center for Addiction Management, we have, uh, my team will be going to Federal Government College to be able to give them um, lecture on the issue of suicide prevention, as well as it relates to students and the teachers in that environment. Even in the Department of uh, Psychiatry, Johnson University Teaching Hospital, there are... Um, Activities lined up. If um, there's going to be a lecture tomorrow at um, at um, University of Jos, in collaboration with the Student Union Government, where we'll be also be talking about the issue of suicide prevention, especially for people in that higher institution and all that. So the essence of it all is to be able to bring to the whole world the populace and all those things to educate them on the issues as they pertain to mental health. And in this case now, we are focusing on suicide. 
if you know that in recent times there have been opera um increase in the rate of people taking their lives and all that and all that okay so yes. well, so why this thing this suicide prevention why this particular theme at this particular point in time yes as uh, regards mental health now you see a few years ago the who told us that by the year 2020 that um depression will be second only to cardiac illnesses in the body of diseases when you talk about double body of diseases you are talking about um, maybe people dying from the illness the cost of treatment of the illness, people losing, I mean, losing man hour, not being able to go to war, and all those things. So the body, it seems as if it was so far-fetched that time, until we started seeing, because depression is the major cause of suicide. As a matter of our people, different studies have looked at 70 to 90% of cases of suicide are tied to depression. And so, all of a sudden, we started seeing that there's an increase, especially in Nigeria, where we always like to tell ourselves that ah, people don't like to die. So the increase was so much to the point that um, about a month ago, which is World um, Suicide Prevention Day, we talked about it, even in our organization. We organized, in fact, we organized um, um, programs, um, a training for media houses, which some of your people were there and all that, so that we know that the way the rate, I mean, the way in which the media reports can also have effect on what we call copycat suicide. So, because of the increase in the rate of suicide, the fact that resilience seems to be going down, people are not able to withstand the normal um, stresses of life again, and then they easily give up. And so, the issue of suicide prevention needs to be taken very seriously. So. It is not. It's, it's, we cannot overemphasize it. Uh, overemphasize it. We always need to continue to talk about it because the moment we relax, people get into their normal whatever. They can forget. I always use the example of people, those of us who go to churches or go to mosque. Uh, if one one month you don't go to church or whatever, you might just see yourself going against the tenets or tenets of your religion, of your belief system. So the more we hear about it, the more resilience we can build and we can be able to prevent the issue of suicide. All right, thank you very much. Yeah. Listener, if you're just joining us, this is your one-stop shop for all your medical and health needs and concerns on radio. It's the program Let's Talk Health on Radio Nigeria Highland 101.5 FM. Joss and uh, the voice you just heard uh, responding to questions is the voice of Dr. Kingsley O'Connor, uh, Medical Director, Net Wealth Center for Addiction Management and Psychological Medicine, State Locus Joss. And today on the program, we are discussing the topic World Mental Mental Health Day 2019 and mental health is important at every stage of life from childhood and adolescence through to adulthood and uh, the World Mental Health Day mobilizing efforts in support of mental health. This year, the World Federation for Mental Health, that's the WFMH, has decided to make suicide prevention the main theme of the world mental health by suicide every year, making it the principal cause of death among people aged 15 to 29 years old. All right, listen, now shortly the phone lines will be uh, made available for you to call in and contribute on the program or to ask the good doctor a question or two. All right, uh, back to you, doctor. Um, how are some of the common illnesses, uh, or what are some of the common illnesses that affect our mental health? Okay, thank you very much. Um, we have um, mentioned the issue of depression. Yes. Depression is a mood disorder. Um, mm. it's, a, it's a mood disorder. Mm. Um, it makes people feel sad. It's not, it's not just being feeling sad. I, I feel an exam. I feel sad. I get over it. I move on. No, but depression is a pervasive feeling of sadness. That means it occurs in different um, circumstances and it occurs over time. There must be at least a two-week period and this is consistent before you can say, oh, this person is depressed. And then there are other things. There's low energy, lots of interest in pleasurable activities. The person is not interested. It's, in fact, the person may not want to work, despite the fact that he should be at work and all that. There's no zest. There's no, there's no energy to do that. And then people can start feeling guilty over nothing. The, the, the end result of it is that people look at the future. It's as if the future is bleak. So there's feeling of hopelessness. They feel isolated from the old world. 
That's when they want to take their lives. These are these are at the extreme. But there are other common ones that people might not even look at as um, mental illnesses, anxiety disorders. Somebody is not able to stand up in class to talk. It's not able to, you know, in in social environment, it feels it feels jittery and all those kind of things. Then there are other things like um, well, schizophrenia. And this one is the one that people like to say, oh, okay, this one is psycho. You know, they, this person is hearing voices so that people are not hearing, having abnormal thoughts and all those things. There are some other ones now, like um, um, uh, obsessive compulsive disorder. When somebody goes out, he comes back again to check if he has locked the door many times over um, rituals of watching the hands and all those things. It could be very debilitating. Mm. So these are some of the um mental illness there's also what we call the bipolar affective disorder mania in which is the opposite of depression this person now feels on top of the world he even claims to be who he is not and he believes it you understand i had a patient once when i was in benin the person actually traveled to aso rock it was during the time of obasanjo and he told them i want to go and see obasanjo who are you obasanjo is my boy of course, it was beating pop and blue. And then, you know, so these are some of the illnesses there. The long and short of it eh, is that um, I'm not here to make anybody become a psychiatrist. But it's for us to be able to see once there is a deviation from the normal. People are not sleeping well anymore. People get angry easily. People get sad. They find it difficult to eat. That's why sometimes some people confuse it with fiscal illness. They will say malaria and typhoid. People are not willing to go to work or do things anymore like that. That's a problem. And then there is this other one of substance use. Alcohol use, use of cigarettes. These are addictive behaviors. Are you getting me now? And then, of course, all the, all the other drugs, trauma, dog, cocaine, heroin. These are also mental illnesses because they affect the brain. And we can see the changes in the brain that perpetuate those illnesses. So these are the, some of the common mental illnesses. All right, thank you, Dr. Kingsley. All right, let's, uh, listener, let's go to the phone lines. Uh, 081 That's 081 The phone lines are now open for you to call in and contribute on the program or to ask the good doctor a question or two as regards mental health, being that... That is our topic of discourse for today, the World Mental Health Day 2019, with the theme suicide prevention. Since suicide has be, uh, been on the rise in our uh, community and society, uh, so we are discussing it today. 081-000-81124, that is 081 081- Zero 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 eight one one two four. Call in and uh, get to comment and contribute on the program while we still have time for it. We have about five more minutes or so on the program. Do call in and let's hear your opinion on these issues. All right, so, uh, Dr. Kingsley, how can these illnesses lead one to committing suicide? Yes, like I said, um, once the person starts losing hope, you know, hope is the thing that makes us um, look, wake up and look forward to the day and then look forward to tomorrow. You know, we always believe that things will get better. Yeah. So once somebody loses hope, he thinks about the future, he's bleak, he doesn't see anything there. Uh, so, yeah. Sorry to cut you short, Doctor. I think we have a call coming. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, you're calling from Vom. All right, go ahead. Sorry, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. You're not. You're not audible. You're not clear. Yes, yes, I can hear you now. Can you speak clearly and audibly, please? Okay. All right. Thank you for that question. Thank you for that question. Uh, Dr. Kingsley. Mm. Um, you see, it's not um, only mental illness that make people commit suicide. Um, there's a difference between being mentally ill and not having mental strength. You know, we talk about being mentally healthy. So if, you're, if you are not resilient, you don't have mental strength, um, any little thing gets you 
um, you know, you look down upon yourself and you get discouraged and you lose hope. It, we may not say that you have a mental illness because it has not fit into our criteria, but you are not mentally fit. So the person may commit suicide. So um, it's not just about illness. It's about being, you know, in the Bible it says, if your strength, I mean, if you fail in the days of adversity, your strength is small. So that's still part of mental health. That's it. All right, so, thank you. Yeah. Listen, the line is still open. 081-0008-1124. That's 081-0008-1124. Sorry, before I, uh, I interjected you, because of the call, mm. you're responding to the question of uh, 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 can these illnesses that you mentioned lead one to commit yes. suicide? So what makes the person takes his life in terms of suicide is lack of that hope for the future. Yes. Then number two, feeling of loneliness you see being alone is free from being lonely being lonely means that you lose connectedness you don't feel connected to people so you can be in the midst of one million people and yet you feel alone as if you are the only one in the world those are the things that makes people want to take their life another thing is their pattern of thinking like i will link it to the question that was just asked if you feel rejected are you getting me now any little thing that happens, you it has meaning for you. You interpret it beyond the surface meaning. You feel rejected as if this person, it means that you are worthless. Then people may com they commit suicide, take their life. So it is about the interpretation that we have to things that makes, uh, makes people get to that level. All right, we have a call coming in. Hello, good morning. Hello. All right, we've lost our call, 081-0008-1124. Yeah, hello. Yes, hello. Hey, we seem to be having issues with the phone line. Uh, we still have time to take one more call on the program before we round it off on today's edition of the program. Let's talk health, 081-0008-1124. That's 81 Zero 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 eight one one two four. All right, back to you. Uh, I have a host. Hello, good morning. Hello. Yes, you're on to the program. Let's talk health. Can you kindly move away from your radio set? Please move away from your radio set or turn down the volume on your radio set. Ed. Okay, Ed. All right. I, I'm sure the doctor will roll that out as we wrap up on uh, today's edition of the program. So stay tuned, okay? Thank you very much. 081-0008-1124. We don't seem to have any other call coming in. All right, doctor, to wrap it up, what are your final thoughts on... Um, uh, World Mental Health Day 2019 and suicide prevention as the theme. And uh, what would you say to the listener out there? All right. What I need, to, I want to say to the listener out there is that to be mentally healthy means that to live life to the fullest. So you should be able to actualize your potential, cope with normal stresses of life, work productively, and make contribution to your society. However, when you see any deviation from this norm, you see that your mood is changing, you are getting sad or getting excessively angry, you cannot sleep well anymore, and you are having, I mean, you are having thoughts, negative thoughts and all those things. It is normal to, 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 to feel weak sometimes. Don't feel ashamed. Get to the medical um, centers so that you can be helped. Okay. And then if you have other people who have such um, issues, make sure also that you help them to get help. Okay. We should not be ashamed. All right. Uh, yes. uh, 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 caller asks for your phone number. Okay. Yes, my phone number is um, 80 36 77 00 92. I take that once again. 080 36 77 00 92. 
All right. To that phone number is a good place to anchor this program for today. Uh, listen, I want to thank you for investing your time with us on Radio Nigeria Highland FM's program, Let's Talk Health, your one-stop shop for all your medical and health needs concerns on radio. I want to thank my guest, Dr. Kingsley O'Connor, Medical Director, Net Wealth Center for Addiction Management and Psychological Medicine, State Locos Jots. Dr. Kingsley, thank you for coming on the program. Thank you very much, Steve. Also, I want to thank my producer, Martha Maynassara. My name is Stephen Eagle saying stay healthy and let's talk health same time next week bye for now thank you very much thank you. time is never enough for us uh, <laughs> when you start you realize you're gone halfway already uh, thank you very much you're welcome well done